Sunday morning. You know, finally, we're beginning to thaw out and maybe you want to get your car washed. We showed you that story about how busy the car washers were yesterday. I think today will be a banner day. A little iffy for this morning as we do have some light rain showers or drizzle that's freezing on contact with the ground. But I think we generally start to dry out most spots. We could even get some breaks of sun. Go ahead with a wash for tomorrow. Shine it, uh, vacuum it out because we're going to have some nice temperatures to work on the car. And then as we go into Tuesday uh, in the afternoon, it looks better for getting the car washed. But in the morning, could get some rain and even snow. This is rainfall. It's drizzle, folks. Very light, a very minor winter weather advisory posted for a lot of central New York. It's mostly now north of Onondaga County. Notice we're not picking up much with the Binghamton radar. There's Falso Service Experts live triple Doppler radar. And as you go to the north and east of Onondaga County, temperatures are colder, so that is freezing drizzle. 29 on the nose here in Syracuse, but quickly we're going to jump up close to freezing and eventually into the 40s. Notice the 40s in Erie, Pennsylvania, 40s and 50s. Yeah, that warmer weather is heading this way. Currently, by the way, Atlanta, home of the Super Bowl 53. They're at 53 degrees right now with some rain showers around. So here's the forecast for today. An icy start, but it's milder and drier for the afternoon. So good news for those going to Super Bowl parties. Not going to have any issue around town. Just might need your umbrella in some spots up to the north and northeast. A few rain showers tonight. Temperatures drop to the mid to upper 30s to near 40, and then they go up late night. And they keep going up. It's going to feel like spring tomorrow with dry conditions. It's my pick day on the seven day forecast. So here we are today at noon. That drizzle pretty much wrapped up. There still could be some spotty light precipitation north and northeast of Onondaga County, but those areas will be above freezing by the noon hour and will likely be into the mid to upper 30s here climbing to about 40, lower 40s to our south and southwest where we get some breaks of sunshine. Debatable whether it happens here in Syracuse. Renewed round of a few scattered showers this evening, north, northeast of Onondaga County mainly. So this is where you're going to need your umbrella coming back from uh, Super Bowl parties. But at least we're not dealing with any ice or any snow. And we're quieter by tomorrow morning. Isolated light shower to our north. Otherwise, increasing amounts of sun as we go through the day. So we'll go into the afternoon. Blend of sun and clouds, about 50. We could be looking at lower 50s in through the Finger Lakes. This is going to melt the snow, so we're going to watch the waterways, especially where we had that heavy snow, and then we're going to throw some rain on top of it. It doesn't look like a prolonged heavy rain event or prolonged warmth, so the flooding threat for ice jams is on the low side. Your forecast for today, a low threat for some freezing drizzle. Otherwise, it's damp and cloudy to our north and northeast. Breaks of sun develop to the south and southwest where it could turn warmer than that 40. 38 and rising tonight. A few light rain showers. Can't complain about that temperature, right? 50 tomorrow. We will find the pick day on the seven day with rain developing late evening Monday. Morning scattered rain showers going over to snow showers on Tuesday. The afternoon looks drier, 40 and falling. 33 on Wednesday and then a wintry mix. Wednesday evening, Thursday and Friday. This week's ski.